Today we're going to be taking a look at the Throne Max Emdra 1 full streaming studio kit to see if it's the best kit to get you started. Let's go! Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you, and if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the product or the service that I'm talking about, did you all a favor and put links in the show notes below, so make sure you check them out. So I got my hands on the M Drill one which came in the studio kit from Throne Max, and I've been playing around with it for a little bit now, and I want to share with you my thoughts on if this is going to be the best microphone to get you started on platforms like Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, or Facebook Gaming, or even just get you started with creating content in general. So let's dive into it. The M-Drill One Streaming Studio Kit is a full complete package that comes with the microphone, a traveling case, dustproof protector sleeve, foam windshield or pop filter, a three millimeter USB cable, another attach on pop filter, an advanced boom arm adapter that comes with all the female and male adapters. It even comes with an additional yoke if you already have a pre-existing boom arm that you want to attach it to. The M-Drill One microphone is a USB type C microphone that is a plug and play unit. It has Vertigain technology, which is a sound enhancing acoustic chamber that gives 10% more clarity due to its three 16 millimeter condenser capsules. Has a plastic lower body with a metal vertical design chamber on top designed to increase sound quality by not breaking up the sound wave patterns as much on a normal mesh microphone. Has easy polar pattern swap with one touch button. Comes with four polar patterns, cardioid, stereo, omnidirectional and bi-directional, has a one-touch mute button, bottom LED changing mood lights, has on mic gain and headphone levels which are displayed on the microphone body in different colors, comes with one slip-on pop filter and one metal mesh pop filter. The m -Drill also comes in the nicest packaging I have ever seen for a USB microphone can work on PS4 consoles, and comes in at around 95 to 110 USD. Now the MGR1 has a lot of bells and whistles, but how does it sound? Well, let's find out. All right, I know this footage looks different, and there's a reason for that, because when I first initially shot this piece and I was recording with this microphone, the cardioid pattern actually failed. And so I had to send in for a replacement, took a little bit of time, plus the fact that I needed time to shoot the piece again. So forgive me if it looks a little bit different. But what you hear now is the raw sound from the cardioid pattern of this microphone. And at no point will I use any audio tools or anything like that. I may just adjust the levels of the volume so that way you can hear the microphone properly. Now, if there's one thing that I really enjoy about this microphone is the fact that it has one of the best interfaces that I have seen on a microphone. The fact that it has one touch mute that's easy to access as well as hitting all of the knobs on the back for adjusting gain or making adjustments to the headphone volume or if I even have to change the cardioid pattern to a different pattern for when I'm streaming or if I'm gonna do different type of contact uh, content, perhaps something like playing an instrument or doing a podcast or anything like that. It's so easy to make adjustments on this microphone. Now, the awesome thing about this microphone is the fact that it's got four polar patterns, but the one that I want everyone that does broadcasting or streaming to be concerned about is the cardioid polar pattern, which means it's going to try its best to pick up sound from the front while negating it from the sides and the back, which means it's going to give you the best clarity. So let me rotate this microphone so that way you can see how the sound falls off and the gates from the sides and everything like that. So right now I'm talking at the front of the microphone and I'm going to slowly rotate it to the side which I'm at at the moment and now I am talking to the back of the microphone rotating again to the side and now I am back at the front of the microphone. And that's how this cardioid polar pattern sounds. Now, as for the sound of this microphone, I think the best way to describe it is decent. You know, it's just a decent microphone. It's way better than any other average web camera that you're gonna get out there that has a microphone or anything that's gonna be on your headset as you're streaming. This is dedicated for picking up 
clean and crisp sound and that's where it excels at i believe this actually has really good crisp and clean sound as you can hear it it picks up every word i say very cleanly however i think the part where it really lacks that is the fact that it doesn't add any richness to my voice it doesn't have much of a bass tone this is a microphone that i think would be very good for particularly like podcasting but not really making you stand out within your content now you can solve the issues of the lack of richness and bass within this microphone by introducing things like audio tools and filters and interfaces but again that's more money and you might need a little more knowledge which may not be you out there so now that you've heard the sound test let's go back to the normal footage that i shot of this microphone so you can get the wrap up now one of the nice positive things about the throne max m drill pro one studio microphone is it's a package deal that you get you get all the things that i mentioned earlier however it does not come with the boom arm so it's not a total package so this is the throne max boom arm that's specifically made for throne max microphones because it already has in the tubing here the type c usb connector that you can run down and through and it is a good boom arm however it does also have its flaws the reason i have it slinged out so far is because that's the only way I can get true balance out of it. If I actually go in here and make adjustments and try to go to right here, because I want to have more of a 90 degree angle, well, one, two, three, bye, it doesn't stay in position. Thus, I have to move it all the way out and lock down all the pins just to even get it to stay right here. So this boom arm needs a little bit of work if you plan on getting it as well. So what are my final thoughts on the M-Drill microphone from Throne Max? Well, to be completely honest, it doesn't excite me in any particular way. It's just an average microphone, which may be suitable for you out there if you're just getting started. Now with the price tag that it comes in at, I actually don't see it excelling past what the Toner microphone, the Toner Q9 microphone can do, plus that's a full package. So if this microphone was to go on sale at the same price, I would say then it would probably be a good pickup. However, I will recommend this microphone for two particular reasons. If you're a PS4 streamer, this microphone does work on a PS4 console, which is exceedingly nice that it comes with the actual cable that you can get it close to your mouse so you'll have clearer sound opposed to what you already probably have on like a janky headset or a cheaper microphone. Number two is if you're the type of content creator out there that plans on doing a multitude of different type of content, and I mean like game streaming, YouTube videos, interviews, podcasts, maybe some singing on both sides, or you're doing any type of playing of an instrument, since this has all the type of polar patterns which you would normally have to pay way up for on a better microphone, you get the accessibility on this microphone. So that would be another reason why I would recommend this microphone for you. But take into consideration all the sound quality and the options that you need before you make your purchase. If you're on the hunt for a good USB microphone and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I'm going to put a video up here on screen so that way you can take a look at the Toner Q9 microphone, which is a great budget-friendly microphone. Or if you already have a microphone or get that one, I'm going to put another video down here on the bottom on how to 10x any microphone to make it sound like a professional microphone. Really good video. I will see you all in my next stream support video coming out real soon. Take care all and peace!